what is up dodging stuff fans hope you guys are having a good day so today we're just going to be talking really quick i'm hoping to keep this video short really quick on what my next purchase for the truck is going to be and then a quick little you know showing you what i'm going to be doing on this in this video so if you guys haven't noticed already but i've got a rhino axles sticker right there and now if i go into my old truck here unlock the old girl i've got uh, let's see here of course the keys fall i've got this sticker that says uh no farms no food american farmland trust so grab the old keys i'm thinking of probably putting that in the back window right back there on the outside let me turn the flash on there we go so that back window back there and then i'm also going to start the truck up here that way it can warm up because my dad put uh gas in it yesterday so i want to see how it's going to act and i want to show you guys the lights too there's something wrong with them Okay, cool. So I'm just above a quarter tank, which is not bad. But really quick, so I've got my parking lights on. So hopefully, you guys can see these. Parking lights work. Now, my fog lights don't work. I think it's something to do with the battery, you know, putting a new battery in. And then, um, not putting, you know, not having the battery on. But if I turn the flash on here, this little switch down here is my switch for my fog lights. Normally, if I flick them on, then the light would come on. So that, technically, that's on. So I'm going to shut the flash off. Come out for you guys. So the whole lights are on. But the fog lights aren't. The fog lights, you know, switches on and everything, but the fog lights aren't on. So that's another fix I have to do. And then uh, let's hop back in the old truck if I don't fall and break myself. Turn the old wipers on. There we go. There we go. So I'll turn you guys around, focus in on me. So, I think my next purchase is going to be a trainee service kit and trainee fluid. Um, if I remember correctly, I do have a slight leak in the trainee, so you know something new would uh, be nice. And then my next topic is what else? What else is going to be bought? So after the trainee service kit, I'm probably going to buy. And alternator I'm, I'm going to eventually need a new one so to me I'd rather just you know change it now get it done over with we got to fix some other things along with you know that go along starting the truck up and whatnot but um, that's gonna be the next thing after the training service getting training fluid is an alternator now the next purchase after that will probably be I'll probably need brakes, but before that, I'm probably going to do a license and registration because, you know, you need to be able to drive the truck, you know, like down the road at 35, 40. That way you're not like, oh, just driving around the yard doing 10 and you, you tap the brakes. So, you know, being able to run it up and down the road legally would be helpful. So, then after that, I'm probably going to do the brakes and whatnot after license and registration. And then I'm going to get tires. And then after tires, it's going to be undercoating because up here in New York, all these northern states that have snow, the states run salt, the towns run salt, they salt corrodes the vehicles, they eat away at the body, especially Dodges. And that's my only complaint with Dodges, they eat away so quick. But uh, yeah. So, I think now I'm going to show you guys where the sticker is going to go. So, let's hop out of the truck. 
Now it's gonna be a little louder because of, you know, I've got a straight pipe and no muffler. But I'm thinking the sticker can go right here and if I don't like it, I'll just take it off and pitch it. But I'm thinking the sticker will go there because people can see it good and I'm going to grab the towel that I have in the truck and I'm going to wipe it off. That way it's a nice dry surface and then the sticker will go on there. Now I will also probably pause the video too and grab a... Kind of like a razor blade, I guess you could say, like a straight razor, and then to flatten it out. That way, if you know, there's no bubbles and you know, stupid stuff in there. But let me pause the video, guys. Let me put the sticker on and grab the razor. So I will be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I've got the sticker on there. Um, I, I got it covered. I really like the way it looks. So uh, without further ado, three, two, one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys like the sticker. So I'm going to back up, say like I'm a vehicle this far away. I think it looks pretty good. Now, what I'm also probably going to do in this video is I'm just going to drive the truck up to the barn and I will check the tire pressure and everything in it. And uh, we will go from there. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Alrighty guys, so I wasn't able to do check the tire, yeah, to check the tires or pressure or anything. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the, the sticker in the rear window. If you guys like it. If you don't, I mean, oh well, it's my truck. I'm going to probably have it on there anyways. But, you know, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, guys. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Dodge and stuff. Out.